How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I'm going to be going over the uh, Chromebook, the Google Chromebook, uh, how to set it up. And uh, we're on the screen. This is the first screen you see when you plug it in. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing it asks you is uh, select the language you want for the keyboard. Next it will ask uh, select your keyboard and then it will ask to select a network. So you can connect to your internet. So I'm going to connect to it's Morphin Time and put in the password. Okay. And it will make sure it can connect first. Now, this is a very important to note. Um, I believe if you do not enter a password, if you don't. If you're not connected to a network, you will not be able to set it up. So, um, I don't know that there is a workaround for that. So, just keep that in mind because the, the concept of a Chromebook is it's supposed to rely a lot more on, on the internet than a basic operating system does. Um, I normally don't check these boxes for sending reports and stuff. Just hit accept and continue. And then, so next it will ask you to sign in to your uh, account, your uh, Gmail account. So as long as you have an account with Gmail, you would sign here. If not, you can click sign in or, excuse me, you can create a new account or you can browse as a guest. I'm actually going to go ahead and, and put in my information here. And... All right, so enter your information, and then what it will do is it will begin to sync your um, all the information with your Google account. Now, uh, if you've ever used Google Chrome and you've customized it or downloaded apps, that's good because basically it's going to pull all that information when it does set up your computer. If you just have a Gmail account but you've never done much with it, then you'll be kind of starting from scratch. So um, I'm sure as this begins to set up, you're going to see uh, a lot of the things that I've downloaded. I've used Chrome for a couple of years now, so um, I've done a lot with it, basically. And uh, this part does take a little time, so we'll just wait. Oh, next I ask you to choose a picture. You can take, take a picture of yourself. You can just go ahead and pick one. I'm going to pick the chess pieces because I love chess. Get it. Also, excuse my voice, guys. I uh, lost my voice for a couple of days, so I do sound a little funny. But uh, it's coming back slowly but surely, so don't judge me now. All right. Welcome to your Chromebook, a new computer from Google. Um, web apps software for your Chromebook. So these are basically some selections you have here to get started. But one, that's, that was a very quick... Um, uh, basically set up. Normally computers take a lot more information but Chrome keeps it simple. And I think probably because I already had an account with Chrome. And this is cool because all the general questions you would have are actually answered on this this home screen here. So web apps a lot of people don't know there's, there's thousands of apps that have been created already through Google Chrome. So Chromebooks already have a lot of software that's actually out there. It's just not really advertised uh, that much. Uh, so get to know your touchpad, save and access files, work offline, redeem your free offers, create documents. So you actually get, um, you know, Google's free uh, document, um, Excel and PowerPoint type program. So you wouldn't necessarily need uh, like the office suite because you actually get a variation of that with the computer. And so this is so this is one of the coolest parts about Chrome. Again, if you've ever used Chrome, um, you could be on any computer and you could download Google Chrome and when you sign into your, your Gmail account, it will basically again sync all of your settings for you right off the bat. And let me show you what I mean here. So these are all like favorites that I've um, basically set up in the past. So all those are set, these are little apps I've downloaded before. Um, if I go to a new tab, you'll see, uh, oh, it's not going to my normal, let's see, okay. that's a little different. Normally, 
it'll actually show um, um, a special home screen that I have that shows all the different uh, apps I have. But you can set that up later. But here's what's cool. If I go to other devices, I can actually see all the tabs I have open, basically on my PC and on my Mac. So these are all the... the uh, all the links I have open, I can go right to them. So Chrome does a great job of just syncing all your devices together. So even on my uh, Android phone, I have the Galaxy S3. I have the Chrome browser downloaded, and I can also access all those same files from my phone. So it just does a great job of, of everything working together. So this was just the basic how to set it up. Uh, again, there are many more videos to come, so just keep an eye out. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out our new website, www.h2techvideos.com. We have had a website for a while, but we just revamped it and, and made it very user-friendly and added a lot of cool features. So check that out. Make sure you like this video. Like this video if you did find it helpful. And once again, subscribe. Take care and have a good one.